Hey, math and fact packers. What did the acorn say when it grew up? Geometry. Well, hey, this is geometry right here. So inside our backpack, in this one, we have some geometrical shapes that you can check out. And then we have some activities in our folder right here. So for the ge uh, geometric solids, this is the one that we kind of chose to go into this backpack. One of the reasons that I really like these is that they are, of course, 3D, but they also are see-through. If you are in fifth grade, you can actually take these apart on the top and you could fill these with liquid water and you could measure the volume of these as well. So there's some really cool things you can do here at different levels. They each have a little drain plug that comes in and out. So you've got cones and you've got cylinders. You have different types of, um, of sizes of these as well. There's a sphere and a hemisphere, so you can kind of show the different sides of those. Um, you can talk about the difference between prisms and pyramids, and the kids can actually kind of see what the difference is, which means, you know, on the bottom they have a square base, but on the top, this comes to a point to an apex, this one has the same shape as the one below. Hence, this one is a prism, this one is a pyramid. So these are kind of fun to take a look at. Along with this, in our packet here, we have geometric solids. There's a information on here about every one and it talks a little bit about their characteristics for each one. This is probably one of my favorite sheets that we work on when we take a look at three-dimensional uh, shapes. If I take the large cube, I can find out what is the shape of the base, what's the number of faces, they talk about faces, number of vertices, those are those points, and the number of edges where those faces come together and create that line. So you can take a look at each one of these shapes that are in this kit. You could do this with a para, you can do this in your classroom as you give a demonstration. If you get this started with the kids, you could actually put this in a maker space in the back or your math corner, you could set this down, you could make a, a copy of each of this for your kids, and they could turn it in by the end of the week. But this is a, an activity that kind of goes together. In here, it also kind of gives an idea, you can hang this up if you want, but it tells a little bit about what makes something a rectangular prism, or a pyramid, or a cube, and it gives you those attributes so that you kind of get that little reminder when you're, when you're talking with your kids about that. In here, there's also things on triangles, the different types of triangles. It's a little quick review of points, line segments, lines, and rays, and, um, and a little direction sheet right here. Also in here, you have perimeter scoot and you have area scoot. And this is part of geometry as well. Once again, there are 30 scoot cards in here. I would take your students and ask them to get their notebook out, write one through 30, and while they're doing that, you can set these out on the desks. You can also do this, you know, while the kids are out at recess, you can set these down, one on each desk in a row, and when they come in, you have a math lesson ready to go. There's movement, that you could have them work in groups, you could have them work silently, you could use it as a quiz, you could use it as a review. Uh, I would not do Scoot as an introduction because they kind of, it's assumed that if you have two kilometers here and three kilometers here, that you would be able to figure out the rule of the rectangle and that they would be able to figure out the perimeter all the way around. So it's not gonna be a great one for introducing, but it definitely is a great one for uh, review and practice. So that was that is perimeter, and our other one is area. Once again, these are lessons that are all ready for you to go. You just have to check them out, take them to your room, give them a try.